All right, so now that we're keeping score, we it's a little bit weird that the ball just kind of keeps going after it bounces off the left and right walls. It would make a lot more sense if it went back to the center every time a point was scored. So to make this happen, we're going to create our own event. Now, if you go into events, you'll recall that when green flag clicked is an event that we've been using on all of our sprites so far. So, but in addition to that, we can also create our own events. So we can broadcast an event and we can listen to receive events. So if we drag out a receive and a broadcast. Now broadcasting a message is basically the same thing as clicking the green flag. When you click the green flag, you're broadcasting the message when green flag clicked. And then this bit of code starts to run. So we're going to broadcast a different message and then cause another bit of code to start running. So if we take a look at this, we have, we only want uh, setting player, the scores to zero. We only want to do that once when the program starts. Um, going to x equals zero, y equals zero as soon as the program starts, we want that. Rotation style, we only want to set that once. Point and direction. That we want to do every time, because that way, every time a point is scored, the ball will take off at a different direction. So if we grab the code here and pull it apart, now we can throw these in. So what we're going to do here is broadcast, hit broadcast message, um, and then we're going to click the green arrow, make a new message, and we'll just call it start and hit OK. So now what this block is doing, when the green flag is clicked, you're going to set player one, two variables to zero. You're going to, the ball is going to go to zero, zero. Rotation style is going to be set. And then you're going to broadcast an event called start. Now if we drag when I receive an event over here and hit the arrow and then select now start as an option because we just created it. So we hit start. So now when this code executes, it's going to broadcast start. And as soon as it does that, this bit of code is going to receive start and start running. Now the way we have it set up right now, it's going to, uh, it's going to do this. It, it will run through exactly the way it did before we put this broadcast in. So we're going to change things a little bit. First off, we want every time a point is scored, we're going to start this block again, but we're not going to do this part repeatedly because we, we only want to do this part once. If we always set player one and two to zero, then the score would never increase and you could never win. So let's go to motion. Let's grab go to X, Y and throw that in there before the point in direction and set that to zero, zero just like we have up here. And now all of this is almost the same. It, the only difference is that whenever a point is scored, after we increment that point, we want to start this block over again. So if we go back to events and grab broadcast start, we can stick that in the middle of, these co of this code. So now what's going to happen is every time <clears throat> every time a point is scored either by player one or player two the appropriate score will increment by one which just means it'll go up by one and then you will broadcast start which essentially is going to start this block over again so the ball will go back to the middle it'll point in a random direction and it'll keep keep acting exactly like it was before so if we hit the green flag, let's see what happens when a point scored. There we go. So player two incremented and the ball went back to the center and it just keeps going. So player two keeps incrementing because I keep letting it hit the right side and it keeps taking off, usually at a different angle. And right now it'll go forever because we don't have a way for a player to win yet. But we'll get to that in a second. 
before we end this video, it might be kind of nice, although this is entirely up to you. You might want the two paddles to go back to the center every time a point is scored, just like the ball goes back to the center every time a point is scored. Now, this is entirely up to you whether you want to do this or not, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to, in paddle, I'm going to grab go to x equals 220, y equals 0. Take it off of the one green flag clicked. I'm going to throw that away. And I'm going to grab when I receive start. And I'm going to stick, stick that on top. So now it's going to function exactly the same because events like this can be broadcast across different sprites. So when the ball starts and it does this beginning stuff here, then it broadcasts start. As soon as it does that, the paddle, this paddle will jump to the middle here. And just like it did before when we hit the green flag, although now it's going to happen every time a point is scored. Now we go to opponent and do the same thing. Pull the go to block off. Toss away the green flag clicked. And grab when I receive start. Now it should make both paddles go back to the center every time a point is scored. So that is a style, stylistic option. It's entirely up to you whether you do it or not. But that's how you do it, and that's how events can be broadcast across different sprites. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.